Mika, thanks for joining us. Let's just turn the clock back a few days to Tuesday night. Nice to get the victory. And we'll talk a little bit about what developed after the final whistle went in a moment or two's time. But first of all, the win was important. Yeah, I think it was massive. I've been, um, we've, had a, uh, we've had a tough few games before that. I think it was important to get back at home and, and, and get a win, especially against Aki. We always know it's always going to be a, a, a very hard game against Accrington. They're very physical. Um, and they always press hard. And I think the, the way we played, the, the, the level of performance as well as the result was, was very good for us. And then, of course, on that particular day, we didn't get to know till after the final whistle had gone that you signed a new contract. How important was that and how pleased are you that your future is sorted out for at yeah. least another 12 months? I'm delighted, you know. Ever since I, I, signed, I signed here in the summer, I've really, I've really enjoyed myself. I feel like I'm learning a lot. I feel like I'm improving. Um, I, I, really love, I, I, love, uh, I really love the environment here. So when the club offered me offered me a new contract it was pretty much a, a pretty much like a, like a straightforward decision for me. I knew I wanted to be here for for for, for a little bit longer, and and I'm and I'm really happy. And hopefully this season and next season can be can be very successful. It's a little bit unusual, isn't it, in the modern day game when when footballers usually expire their contract and then they start you know, negotiating and talking. But well, this has come with plenty of weeks to go towards the end of the season. So for both parties, you must have been pleased with the way it's been going. Yeah, I think so, and that and and um, and, I, and I'm and I'm really grateful for the for the confidence that the that the manager, the staff, and the and and the whole club puts in me. You know, to 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 offer me the contract this early, it, it, it was great for me, and also it helps in terms of mentally be able to settle, be able to know where you're going to be. Where you're going to be next season, or, 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 or um, all that type of stuff, it helps on the on the pitch as well, you know. Because at certain times where you don't know if you're going to be at the club next season, you don't know where you're going to be. It can sometimes, sometimes, uh, sometimes. Um, sorry, it can it, it it can sometimes affect you, such as um, such as your performance on the pitch and stuff. But I think. Um, with us being able to uh, be able to get that done early, it'll be perfect. What has impressed you since you've come into the building? What has impressed you about Crew? I'd say the way the club is set up, you can see there's a um, there's a philosophy here. There's a way of doing things that's um, throughout um, that's just throughout the club. The way we play football, and I think also the way the the way the the way the coaching is done is very detailed. Um, there's a huge emphasis on on tactical improvement and technical improvement, and um, and uh, and I think it's something that I really needed for me, as well as the way pe the way people are treated here. You know, every everybody gets on. Every, every everybody's just just a nice person here, and I think it, 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 it's 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 just um, a really good environment to work in. So. Um, it was easy for me to it's easy for me to make that decision. The manager made a point a, a few weeks ago when he, he he still believes that like yourself and Omar Beckles and one or two of the others are, are still real coachable players. They probably missed out a little bit earlier in the career, but he still believes that you still want to learn. And, and and is that something that you've improved your game as well since you've come into crew? Yeah, hundred percent. You know, as a as a player, um Ever since I was young, I've always, I was, I, I was always looking to improve every day, and uh, I thought coming here was definitely a chance for me to do that. And I think it definitely showed. Ever since I've been here, I've, I've improved. I've, 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 I've worked with the gaffer. I've, I've worked with the coaching staff, and I, and I can see, um, I can see it in my game, you know. And I think as well as, as much as I've improved so far, there's still a long way to go. And I think being here is, is, is definitely the best place for me. You must be reading my questions. That was the next question that was coming up to you. It, 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 you still believe there's still a lot more to come. Nine goals so far. There's still plenty of opportunities for you to get a, a real good tally between now and the end of the season. And that was also interesting as well. Your hands went up last Saturday 
when the result didn't go well at Swindon? Something that you weren't frightened to do in the dressing room? Um, yeah, absolutely. Um, sorry, you, you've asked a couple of things there. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, there's, there's still a lot to come for me and from us um, uh, just as a team, you know. And uh, when it comes to Swindon, you know, I, 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 I was disappointed because I, was, uh, I, I, I got a few opportunities to score goals. And um, I think those are chances that on a different day I would I, I would I would trust myself to score, you know. And then obviously the 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 uh, um, then obviously the result didn't go our way. So I I definitely took I definitely took the responsibility for that, you know. Um, but then we might we, we we managed to put it right on Tuesday. So then uh, and and I think and I think that's going to happen when you play football, you know, there's, there's going to be games where you, you can't score goals. There's going to be games that you lose and it's just being able to bounce back. Well, I'll tell you what, I bet you can't wait for three o'clock tomorrow afternoon, can you? Yeah. I, I bet you also wish that, you know, the, the boys from the North East were down there with the, the supporters as well, because this is one of the, the highlights really, even though it's disappointing, very disappointing that there's no supporters, but this is one of the highlight uh, fixtures of the season, isn't it? Crew, Against your former club Sunderland, absolutely, absolutely. This a uh, this a game that I, I that I really look forward to playing, and uh, it would be great to have all the fans there, the crew fans and um, and the Sunderland fans as well. But I'm sure it's gonna be it's gonna be a great game regardless. And the one thing about Sunderland is they're right in the mix. You'd expect them to be right in the mix, but things have developed behind the scenes, haven't they, in the last couple of weeks? Because that has been a problem for them, you know, with with the ownership. Well, it looks as though they've got that settled, and Lee Johnson now the manager in the club. It looks as though they might have some stability. Yeah, I mean that. I think that has been an issue at Sunderland for years and years. Ever since, um, even when I was there. There was no real stability. We used to, they used to change manager every few months, every six months. So um, I think hopefully that will be able to help them, you know, to get someone in there for the long term and that has a, that has a really good vision for the club. Is there a dream that Mikel Mandrin gets a winning goal tomorrow afternoon? Hey, you never know. You never know. Hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs>